So this is an Acura. It's a parasitic draw. And what's the first thing that comes to mind? Everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. It's t-shirt weather again. Working on a 2009 Acura MDX. <clears throat> it was featured in a previous video for uh, some air conditioning work. Now the owner's complaint is uh, some kind of parasitic draw. He said he's gone through two or three batteries and it's just getting annoying. So let's, uh, let's try to diagnose it. Hopefully it, the problem is present. Now, he got a brand new battery. I told him I, you know, I can't test it on a bad battery. It's running 14.3 volts. That's good. And the battery should be pretty fully charged. Yep, it's only accepting three amps. So let's shut the vehicle off. Okay. And let's connect an in series ammeter. Definitely have a draw, 0 0.8 amps. Very significant draw. So we can definitely, well, we'll wait for the car to try to go to sleep, but if that draw stays there, it should be fairly easy to track down. The bigger the draw, the easier it is to track down. So this is an Acura. It's a parasitic draw. And what's the first thing that comes to mind? The hands-free link unit. On the wiring diagram, it's right here. Powered by Fuse 5, 10 amp. Hands-free link control unit. So let's check voltage across fuse five here in the under dash fuse relay box. So if we go down the line, zero, zero, zero again. Number four, zero. Number five, 1.5 millivolts. Okay, very suspect. Let's keep going here. Six. So I'm gonna measure all these fuses and write down if any other fuses have a draw. And then we'll focus on this hands-free link unit fuse. All right, so we're stable about 0.25, a quarter of an amp, obviously still way too high. So 250 milliamps. The door button is pressed shut. The dome lights are off, so the car is asleep. However, on fuse number five and number seven, we have some voltage drops. Now number five is the big one, 1.5 millivolts. Let's just double check that one. Yep, we're still at 1.5 millivolts. And that's the audio and hands-free link control unit. So let's pull that fuse, see if our draw goes away. And then, if that works, then we can locate the hands-free unit and Probably just unplug it. That's what most people do and live without Bluetooth. Perfect. 22 milliamps. That's acceptable. So let's find this um, hands free control unit and then pop the fuse back in so we can still use the radio. So behind this rear control stack, this is our culprit. Johnson controls. So let's unplug this guy. Pop the fuse back in. So we're down to 24 milliamps. That's normal. Fuse is back in. And no more voltage drop on that fuse. So we want to still make sure that the radio works. But that's the issue. Classic Acura hands-free link unit. So in this case, you know, 
you could start from scratch and do the full diagnosis or if you know a common issue you can go right to that diagram but still do your checks so you want to be 100 percent sure that that's the problem because what if it's not then uh, you don't want to jump the gun we'll just leave that unplugged let the owner drive it and should be good so thanks a lot for watching we'll see you next time